being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenant of promise, yeah. having no hope. Yeah. Now think about that. They say that a man can live three days without water, eight days without food. But then they say that a man cannot live one second without hope. If there was no hope, what would make you want to continue to go forward? What would make you continue to do the work? What would make you want to love? All these things that we do, even here in worship, we come today and we sing and we pray and we commune and all these things. But the reason we do this is because we have a hope for eternal life. We seem to encourage each other and to edify each other to make it over to the other side. We pray, asking God to help us make it to heaven. And, and we have to thank him for that opportunity. And then we, we, we ask him to forgive us for not being on that road to heaven or not having that continuous hope. Then in communion, we remember the one who gave us the opportunity to make it to heaven. I'm right about it. He said, do this in remembrance of me, and that is Jesus Christ. That all of this hope is in Jesus Christ. Like I said, man cannot give us that confidence. We, we might look at him and see and hear the things that he says, but again, because of sin, the Bible says in Romans chapter 5, verses 12, 17, get that for me, please. Romans chapter 5, verses 17, verses 12, 17, and 19. Mm -hmm. See, Jesus said that he's going to prepare a place. Yes. And he said, he said, whether I go, you know the way. Uh -huh. And the way you know. Uh -huh. Then Thomas asked him, Thomas was doubting Thomas, which is a bad title to have for someone who doubts. Because mm -hmm. without, with doubt, there's no hope again. Mm -hmm. There's no faith with doubt. He said, I don't know the way. You haven't showed us no way. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, yes, I have. He said, I am the way, the truth and the light. No man coming to the Father but by me. Thomas had been with the way the whole time. And I believe Jesus was teaching them how to lead other people in the way. But I, sometimes we, we are here and we listen. Or we might be hearing something, but we're not listening. Or we might be listening and then there's no comprehension to what we hear or what we're listening to. But Jesus had to make it plain that there is no way. He said, no man coming to the Father but by me. All right? The Bible says, God made the promise. Again, it's all about the promises. And through the promises, we have hope. And God said, uh, he said, uh, the Bible says in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave the Lord and God the Son. And the promise that he made that whosoever believes in him, whosoever believes in him, and that's faith, again, shall not perish but have eternal life. And again, hope brings faith. And faith brings obedience. And obedience is brings about the love. He said, Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Am I right about it? So if you have faith and you have hope, then you're going to do something to show it. When we had, we had, like I said, Obama showed us on that faith, but we said, well, maybe, maybe, one day uh, we can be judged by the content of our characters and not the color of our skin because this black man has become the president. Uh -huh. But we have to understand that um, some people even say, oh, he's not even a real black because he was mixed. But through, through, through the thing that he was trying to tell him that through America, we can see that the original uh, founders of the earth, uh, of America was trying to set it up where the, the, everybody would be equal. Right. And I believe that in the church, Jesus, uh, God makes us equal. We might have different trials, we might have different tribulations, we might have different levels of faith, but we are equal on one thing is that we all have that same eternal hope of salvation. I'm right about it. And, that, and, and, and that's what it's all about because we have that faith. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 5, it says, By one man's sin entered into the world, and death by sin. So death by sin is passed upon all men, for all have sin. Again, that's why there will never be peace. No utopia. No, 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 uh, there's always going to be some kind of war, because somebody's always going to have some jealousy or envy or hatred. Or something is going to be there always to keep us from having that eternal faith. But then in verse 17, he said, well, for, um, for if by one man's offense death reigned, by one much more they which receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Christ Jesus. Again, Christ Jesus is the reason and the purpose and the and the and the, and the, the, the basics of our hope. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 2 that we should look to Jesus because he is the author and the finisher of our Am I right about it? Yes. And, 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 and then verse 19, for 
by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by one man's obedience, shall many be made righteous. One man's disobedience. We know about Adam and Eve, right? And, 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 and Adam disobeyed God. He only had three rules in the when he was here on earth. <laughs> Three rules, and he couldn't do that because of, uh, I guess, the sin. Sin will keep you from doing the basics. He told him to be fruitful and multiply, yeah, to right. take care of the garden. Mm -hmm. and then he said, don't eat of the fruit. Two right. things that he had to do. And one of the things was something that you just didn't have to worry about, basically, not eating of the fruit. But that one thing was the one that set us at a guilty distance, set him and us. Because of that, we all are in that situation that they curse with this curse of death. Am I right about it? But the Bible says, in, uh, by his disobedience, but it says the obedience of one man, Christ Jesus, in Hebrews 5, chapter 8, I mean, chapter 5, verse 8 to 9, says, though he was a son, yet he learned obedience by what he suffered. Am I right about it? Then it says, uh, uh, being made perfect, he became the author and the finisher, or the author of of eternal salvation mm -hmm. unto all that obey him. Yeah, see again, you see that I'll obedience yeah. brought about salvation. Yes, sir. If you can't yeah. obey or do the will of God, then salvation is not in your grasp. It, right. is, it is something that you will have to uh, just give up on because you have to obey. Mm -hmm. No matter what it is that you do, you have to obey the law if you like if you want to. Uh, learn something. There's a certain pattern, a certain means in which you have to go through to get to that certain situation in your life. And you have to always be able to obey the rules. Just like here on this earth, we can stay out of jail. We cannot be shot or whatever it is that the police might do to you if you obey the law. I used to drive down the street and be worried about every police car, but that was because I wasn't obeying the law. You know what I, mean? uh, I had fake tags on the car, my license was suspended and then so every police I saw, I was dipping the corner, trying not to get caught. Turn the corner and let him pass me up or make a right or a left. But that's because I wasn't obeying the law. But, but now that I have my stuff together, so I sort of, I can drive freely down the street and not worry about none of these problems. Praise God. And that is all because of obedience. Once when you obey, it's in school and if you're working, everything that you do, you have to obey. And from that obedience, you will be blessed with yeah. something. Either yeah. uh, in, in your job, if you obey the rules of the job, you get a promotion. And, well, and, and in school, you get right. a degree or you graduate and all these things. Everything that you have to do comes out of obedience. Yeah. And Christ came on earth to show us mm -hmm. how to be obedient yeah. to the fact where he gave his life for us. Yeah. And, 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 and again, that hope that we have through Christ Jesus because of that reason. Because he gave up his life for us. He came down from heaven's throne and came down to be in this flesh full of, of, of heartaches and troubles and trials and tribulations on this earth to show us that there, one, there's going to be a time when you don't have to worry about that no more. And, uh, Jesus said to rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven. Then in Luke he says to rejoice and leap for joy. Now if, if you look at it, and, 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 and believe in that hope and in that blessing, we should be able to leap for joy. Am I right about it? We should be able to shout and say, thank you, Jesus. And hallelujah. There should be no reason why we should be handcuffed when we worship God or why we go through our life. Because Jesus, he, he basically told us that if you have that hope, if you have that faith, we should be happy. We should be excited. He said exceedingly glad. That means more than just happy. That's going above and beyond your regular joy. Yeah, because yeah. the joy here on earth is going to stop at a point. Oh, yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? You might get something. You might get a blessing. But eventually something will go and happen where that blessing will not look so good no more. Mm -hmm. Am I right? You, right. You, anything that you get here on this earth is going to become uh, a, a, a heartache to you at one point in your life. Mm -hmm. No matter what it is, you can have children. It's just a beautiful thing. But they can get on your nerves. Am I right about it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a blessing. But that hope of eternal life where we know that no matter what a man may tell us, what a man may think, that God has promised us something that is more eternal, more Amen. blessed. Amen. So there should be no reason why we should have uh, sour persimmon faces, right? right. 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 Walking around with your face like right. you're right. a sour persimmon, your lips drawn up and you can't shake your hand and you're uh -huh. 